Marvel Comics captured my eyes since I was around 13 when the Ultimate Spider-Man video game came out. Uh, I used to have a GameCube back then and I used to play that game for hours. Mostly as Venom because I got to go around smashing stuff, uh, eating people, and destroying the city. Uh, going back a few years earlier to when I was 9, I was actually a big fan of the Captain Underpants uh, novels. And I was fascinated whenever a George and Harold created their Out of This World comics. Uh, that's where my creative origins kind of began. And I started to draw and write my own comic books and the hobby never left. Tackling Avengers Infinity War, you know, the Avengers finally facing off against Thanos, one of the most powerful villains that they've ever faced in the comics and in the movies. Uh, it has to be no easy feat. Going back to the Infinity comic that I read while I was in college, uh, really opened my mind to the grand scope of the superhero conflict, especially when Thanos is involved. Uh, I started my own Marvel stop motions at the time where the MCU had started Phase 2 and by then I was already inspired by how there were different superhero movies with separate adventures but then all kind of connected and culminated in an Avengers level event. I always thought that was pretty cool and uh, my Marvel stop motion universe started off with the Avengers going against the Masters of Evil and then built up to Ultron then went on to Civil War. And uh, yeah, Civil War, one of, one of my more popular series is... Popular series? Hmm, weird word. After that, I wanted to explore the Avengers Initiative. You know, the, the aftermath of Civil War and the broken relationship with the Avengers. And in my videos, you know, characters went off to do their own thing. And uh, others, you know, formed their own different Avengers teams. We had uh, the Secret Avengers which was a group of Avengers that was led by Captain America and made up of people who were on Cap's side during the Civil War and they decided to stick with them. And although they were all breaking the Registration Act, they knew the risk and they continued to do good things while working in the shadows. Uh, then we had the other side of the argument, you know, forming their official Avengers team, uh, the Mighty Avengers, which was led by Iron Man. And these were heroes Iron Man recruited that, uh, you know, were government approved and they worked via the government's orders and we got to explore Iron Man's side of the argument and how he learned about the consequences of his decision. And finally we had the new Avengers which uh, came out a couple months ago which ended up being led by Doctor Strange although not a part of the Civil War argument. He always kind of remained neutral Still being a good person at heart, he allowed other superheroes like Spider-Man, Luke Cage, Iron Fist that were not registered to hide out at his place while they were on the run from like the police and stuff. So, and also while learning how to be a team player and uh, leading a group of people. The first draft of my Infinity War story was actually written around, like, I want to say, 2017. And the plans for the draft for the story had been laid out as well. Style motions like Doctor Strange uh, versus Dormammu, Guardians of the Galaxy versus Super Scroll, Planet Hulk, Iron Man and War Machine, Guardians versus Thanos, Captain America Red Winter, and Captain Marvel all kind of set the building blocks in place to create the stage for Thanos. Like my animations, uh, they mostly draw from comic books. A little bit from the movies at times and of course my own original ideas. Uh, being a passionate fan of these characters, it is very important to me that I get this animation just right. Like I want to make sure the story is perfect. Uh, this first episode will definitely set up the tone and the urgency of the entire uh, series. Many character moments are going to shine and we're going to get a small glimpse of the ultimate threat that is Thanos. Remember this is part one and I'm... it's planning out to be around a four or five part series. Uh, I'm going to be using a lot of custom figures that it had take, took time to create, most of them by uh, my man Golden Hand Customs. You can check them out on Instagram. Uh, here's a, actually a sneak peek of the custom Outrider that I have by Golden Hand Customs. Just a quick little animation sample. Uh, we also explore new sets. 
Uh, we're revisiting the Sanctum Sanctorum, you know, Dr. Strange's hideout. We're going to be going to outer space, going back to the Illuminati hideout. We're going to be going to Wakanda, and we're even going to Aunt May's house. So uh, we're going to finally going to get to see some old acquaintances, re old acquaintances reunited again for the first time in a long time. Uh, lots of suspense, thrill, superhero action, and drama. Uh, the pieces of this chapter are all finally coming together. And um, it's been super exciting for me. It has all led to this. Also, this is like my first time doing like a video essay kind of format. So if you guys dig this video and would like to see like other videos similar, like other makings of behind the scenes featurettes for other like productions, just uh, let me know by like, you know, liking this video and uh, just sh shouting it out on the comments. And I'll try to put out more of these like more consistently like from now on like after every um animation because I, I thought this was kind of fun i liked it so so closing off i hope you guys stay safe i wanted to thank all my supporters who have supported me over the years who have uh, supported my vision and um i love you guys 3000 this is swag wave signing out <laughs>